My interest is really more around the use of generative AI as a thinking partner. So it's very rare that I go to Claude, which is the language model that I use most often. I don't go to Claude and say, give me the answer. I say, here is a difficult topic that I'm trying to understand better. Um, I'll give it some context. I'll maybe upload um, a, a document that I'm working on. I'll upload some notes that I've taken. So I might have written some reflections. Um, there may be one or two emails that are kind of, you know, just take the, the kind of substantive content of the emails, no personal information. And I give all of that to Claude and I say, I'm trying to deal with this difficult uh, concept or I'm trying to deal with this uh, complicated scenario. How could I think about this? This is what I'm, this is the direction that I'm training towards. Um, what assumptions have I made? Um, why could I be wrong? Um, you know, what are the ways in which I'm thinking about this that are biased? Because I am biased. Um, I have made assumptions. Like we all are biased. We all make assumptions. Um, and so Claude can take a position that is different to mine. And so it can give me three different kind of prompts that I can use to think about the problem in more detail than I would be capable of doing on my own. So this is kind of like when you have a conversation in the clinical context, context with um, a peer or a colleague and you say, I've got this patient who's presenting in this way and I've been trying to manage the patient using these three kind of management approaches and it hasn't really been helping. Um, you know, what am I missing? You know, are there other things I could be thinking about? Are there other questions I could be asking? Are there other approaches that I'm not aware of? You're not asking your colleague to tell you the answer. 